Stay tuned to see what it is I make upcycling a shirt, cardboard box, and using November's Club Transfer. Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well and welcome to my channel Crafty Chalking Creations. My name is Debra and I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and I'm using November's Club Couture Transfer. So uh, this is like a last minute decor. I'm, I want to make a little little sign to hang on my, my door, my entrance door. So, and I'm sure most of us are doing some shopping online. You've got boxes, you've got this, that, and I thought, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and upcycle some stuff? <laughs> so I did. Um, I've got a shirt here that my dad was no longer going to be using. So I went ahead and I cut the back of it out and a side panel and I cut off some buttons. So that's what you see here. And then I received a box. So I cut out the side and that's this part right here. And then I had received from my order a large one of these envelopes here from Chaka Tour with my order. And this is my my little practice. <laughs> my little practice right there because I wanted to make sure what I was going to do was going to work. So um, I'm just going to, I this took a little bit to prep. It took, I would say, about an hour gathering up supplies, doing some cutting, a little bit of measuring here and there. Not anything precise. You know, I just kind of eyeball things, but I didn't need to have a ballpark idea of how things were going to fit. So I, uh, it took about an hour. So I was trying to save up quite a bit of time because I'm sure you didn't want to watch all that prep. But there's a, quite a few components here, but I hope this gives you some inspiration and it gives you some ideas of things you can do to upcycle maybe some things that you have from shopping, you know, when you receive things in the mail. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I, I have my coffee here. <laughs> so grab yourself a beverage. Sit back, relax, get some ideas here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the process, what I did. I, like I said, I cut out the shirt. This is the back panel, and this is part of the uh, front. Now, what I did is to minimize some bulk, I cut off the edges, the corners here. Hopefully you can see that. This is kind of a large project, so I'm hoping you're able to get some idea here. I have my 30-something-year-old little glue gun here. So let's hope for the best. If not, we're going to just tape. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue here in the corner. Just so that way I can get this started. Now, oh, that is hot. So now I know uh, usually you should go from from top to bottom, side to side, that way the tension's even. But I've got some bulk here, a little bit. I probably have too much fabric on here, but I want to go ahead and make sure that my corners are covered. Now this is going to be going on my, oops, okay, that's not going to work. I need to scoot that down a bit. This is going to be going on my entrance door. Now it is somewhat protected from the elements, so I don't expect this to be anything like permanent. I mean, it'd be nice if it, it was, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to upcycle. I mean, it's not going to be sitting out completely exposed elements, but when you open the door on that, it might get some, uh, some rain or snow on it. So far here in Michigan, we've been pretty fortunate with our weather. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. That's why I said grab a cup of coffee. I, I wanted to do as much prep as I possibly could, but I didn't want to. Oh, you know what? I was going to punch holes. All right. Yeah, this is the Chaka Tours Power Hole Punch. I wanted to put some holes in here to hang this. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. Put it there. And then, oh, it just cuts through that like butter. All right. All right. Now, any of the products that I am using from Chalk Couture, I will go ahead and post a shopping cart link. The only thing I will not be able to post 
will be the Club Couture. This is November's. This is an exclusive transfer only for designers and Club Couture uh, subscription uh, members. So uh, if you want to go ahead and get in on the club, by all means, I will post a link below for the club membership. Only thing that they ask is that you could go ahead and commit for at least three months. And what you receive, you will receive your transfer, three coordinating paste at, for a monthly subscription of $19.99. And that is for U.S. I believe Canadian is $26.99. Don't quote me on that, though. But the information that I put in the link, it tells you all that information and where you can go ahead and sign up. And what you'll also receive is a, you'll receive free shipping on your, your subscription, your subscription package. And you will also receive $4.95, that's U.S. shipping, and all your orders that you place once you become a club member on the website. That is a really, really good deal. And this is, I believe, December 22nd. Yes, it is. Chocolate tour starting at 9 a.m. Mountain Time, which I believe it will be 10 a.m. Central Time, and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Google it just to be on the safe side of my time zones there. But it, if you go ahead and go on that website during those times, they have got a a really good, it's going, it's, I believe they have a deal called Out With a Bang. They're going to have about 30 select transfers and services that they're going to have at 50% off. Plus... If you are a club member and you get to sign in before you go ahead and do that, you'll get 60% off those items. This is going to go by quick. It's any, it's while supplies last. It starts out the 22nd. And it goes through the 31st. But it is while supplies last. That is a promotion from Chalk Chalk Tour. So I wanted to do. I did want to let you know about that. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied. There's just like so much for me to do and so much running through my head. I did want to let you know about that. So if you wanted to get on the club go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get going back on this, see if I can get another blob of glue here and get this project going. Oh, that is hot. But yeah, that is a, a really, really good deal. Really good deal. For club members well even if you're not a club member to sale that's a good deal all right my glasses my eyes are sliding off my face here all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to put some of this down Hopefully move this along but if at any point you're watching this video and you like what you're watching or uh, you like the idea of it I would definitely appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe and also like and hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified whenever I do any other videos I'm just gonna kind of tuck that in All right, I've got to remember where the top is. Okay, let me lay a squeegee up there. Yeah, there's. Uh, I'm going to be using three paste colors. Um, there's some other tools that I will be using, like squeegee wise. All right. So yeah, what I went ahead and did is I had a box that I just uh, that kind of fit for what I wanted to do here. And I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out that side panel. I'm going to cover this with some fabric. And make a little last minute holiday decoration. Oh, okay, I need glue. <laughs> I ran out of glue. Well, it's getting low. It's not completely out. Um... So I thought, you know what, I, I've got these, I've got these packages here, I've got some boxes, you know, and just go ahead and do this. Give you some guys some ideas. Let's see how this goes. 
they get ideas, but sometimes they don't. Uh, well, I shouldn't say don't, but you, you never do know if they're going to turn out how you think it's going to go. But I'm just kind of tidying that up a little bit. I have that sitting there so that way I know where my top is, where I put my holes. Now this is the side panel of the shirt. I'm going to use this for the back to cover it. Even though this is going to be up against the door, nobody will probably see it, you know, just in case the wind flips it around or something like that. Now it has frayed edges. I, I don't care about that. But if you would like to, you know, uh, stitch yours down or fold them over when you glue them down, you can do that. All right, so now we're going to go to a bead of glue down there. Yeah, so they've got that uh, they've got that sale going on. I did want to let you know about that and and I was going to do this project. It was just perfect timing. So definitely if you're able to take advantage of it. 50% off select items. And they said it was up to well, not up to, but there was going to be 30 select transfers and surfaces that they were going to have marked down. All right, now I've got that done. Now, what next thing I did was with that large envelope, I went ahead and I painted my surface with the chalk paste. Now I added a little bit of water and I used the white in the storm and I used a wide art brush and I just painted it on there and I let it dry. Now it is kind of curling up a little bit. I thought, I was hoping it wouldn't. But we're going to glue it down and let's just hope it stays down. It doesn't curl up. But anyway, um, I went ahead and I painted it with the, the, uh, mostly white with a little bit of storm. And I let it dry. I went ahead and I used the, the dryer. Not, not like laundry dryer, but my handheld dryer. So I went ahead and did that. Made sure it was good and dry. And then I waxed it. I used the surface wax. And I, as you can see, it has a sheen to it. I, I wanted to make sure that this works, so I did a little test. And it did, because I didn't want to get on, on camera and do this and then put down my transfer and then I'm peeling up my paint. So you will definitely have to wax your surface going to be using any kind of like cardboard or a if you're going to go ahead and paint it. So that's what I did with that. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the reindeer parking. I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put that on, on that part, the section that I'm going to be gluing here. But first thing I need to do is I need to fuzz my transfer. If you have not seen any of my previous videos, you do need to fuzz your transfers, except for maybe if you're putting them on fabric. The transfers do come in a sleeve. Be sure to keep that so that way you can use it for storage. It also has instructions on the back of it. And there is a matte side, and the side that the transfer is adhered to is shiny. So you want to mark the back of it so that way after you clean your transfer and it is dry, when you go to put it on your backing sheet for storage, you know which side to adhere it to, which is the shiny side. So we're just going to pull that off. Now, the shipping department of the post office was not very kind to my package, so it was a, <laughs> it's a little wrinkled. But so far, it seems like the transfer is just fine. So I'm just going to give this a good fuzzing. Even though I waxed that surface, I just like to make sure that it's not going to stick on there too, too well. You want a little bit of tack, but you do not want it straight out of the package on your surfaces because what could happen is it could stretch out and get distorted or you know rip well I, although I have not had that happen I shouldn't say that I don't know if it would rip or not but you do not want to risk stretching out or distorting your transfer so I'm just trying to make sure that I have buzzed this pretty well 
Now I will put a shopping cart link of the supplies that I am using. Uh, the fuzzing cloth, the paste, as long as it is available. I know the shimmer silver is out of stock. So we will not be, I won't be listing that one. Uh, my squeegees, things like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is line this up on here. Okay. Now I cut this to the size of my transfer, that piece of uh, cardboard. So what I do is once I get my transfer, I think it looks fairly even. I usually, for me, I put my finger in the middle, I go up, down, and then I use my fingers, I go side to side, just kind of hold it down there. And then I use my hands to spread it out and smooth it. So that way I make sure that there aren't any other wrinkles or little air bubbles or any fuzzies that might be preventing the transfer from uh, sticking to the surface. And so far it feels pretty good. Now usually if I have a, a transfer that has a, more of a design on there, I like to use the small squeegee and smooth it out just to make sure that it is on there pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to be using the multi-tool in some areas. I'm going to use it here and the one night only. I'm going to use it there and then I'm going to use the small squeegee right here with the little sleigh and reindeer and then I'm going to use my, I'm sorry, this is the mini squeegee. I'm going to use the small squeegee on the reindeer parking. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now this is, I have uh, the shimmer silver in a paste packet. Now what you do is you just gently knead it. This obviously I have used it, it does not come like this. Um, I just use it that way for storage. I do need to cut the tape so I can get this opened. I just wanted to make sure it did not dry out because you did get quite a bit of paste and a little goes a long way. So you just gently knead your paste packet. And I'm going to try to work some of this up. Now this is just a little ceramic plate that I have that I'm going to use. Um, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and rip that off. I'm just going to squeeze some out. I'm going to, I don't need all that's in this packet, so I'm just going to try to push up some of it and then just put it on the plate. And I'm going to set that aside and I can go ahead and seal that back up later. And I'm going to, I'm going to use the black on up on the housetop in one night only. And I'm going to use the crimson, uh, shimmer crimson. I'm going to use that on the reindeer part. All right, I'm going to take the seat here and get going, get started on this. All right, I think first I'm going to do the black. Now it is winter time and my house is kind of dry, so I'm hoping this does not dry on me before I can get done. So I'm just going to try to put this on a little bit thicker than usual. If I suspect it might be starting to dry a little sooner, I'll just have to uh, peel up a section of it sooner than I expect it. Okay, we'll do that. And then, you know what, I'll come back to that. I don't need to reuse that tool. All right, now I'm going to use my mini squeegee here with the silver. And I'm going to do the sled and the reindeer in silver. I thought this would, the colors would coordinate with the color of that shirt. Now any excess that you have, you know, you want to be somewhat generous putting on, you can just go ahead and scrape it off with a squeegee. All right, and then I'm going to go to, well, you know what, 
just to be on the safe side, I'm going to look that up. Peel and lift. I'm just going to lift that up a little bit. And I'm going to lay that back down. So that way, if that dries before I get done with this, I don't have to worry about pulling up the paste from the surface. I'm going to just make sure that I have that down. And I'm going to take my small squeegee. I mean, yeah, the small squeegee. And put it in this crimson shimmer cr Oh, that is just such a gorgeous color. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry I'm being so quiet. I'm just kind of thinking here and paying attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, it's, I mean, it, this is a quite easy to do. All right, I have that excess there, so I'm just going to scrape that squeegee off into the jar. And then I'm just going to take the squeegee and go over and remove that excess that I have on there. Oh, that is just absolutely gorgeous color. All right, now I'm going to go back to my black for the bottom part here. That's way too much probably. Now, this paste, some of the paste colors will stain your transfers. That's perfectly fine. It does not damage your transfer at all. I just wanted to let you know that. The black definitely will, will stain. Just so I would let you know. Okay. Let's scrape off the excess. I love this little multi-tool. It is, came in handy more times than... I can think of. All right, now I'm going to put the caps back on my paste there. I'm going to see if I can get, if that silver does not dry out, I'm going to see if I can get it back into my, my packet somehow. But now we're just going to go ahead and peel and reveal. Now I've already lifted that, that part up, so that should be okay. Let's see how this looks. You want to slowly lift up. So that way, if you did miss any areas, you can just go ahead and lay it back down. I like how that looks. Oh, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. I do have an extra towel here that I laid my transfers on until I can get them to the sink to clean them. And I put it sticky side down, and then I use a little spray bottle. And then I spray it with some water. So that way I don't have to worry about, or well, at least minimize the risk of the paste drying and that mesh screening. And I don't know if I told you or not, but these transfers are reusable. Chocotour states that they are reusable 8 to 12 times. Some designers have uh, gotten more use out of that. So I do want to let you know this is not a one and done with your transfers. Now I'm using my uh, drying heat tool to dry this because I want to glue this to that cardboard that I covered with fabric. I gotta feel my holes. See where my punch holes are. Yep, there it is. Because I want to put some ribbon because I want to hang this from my door on a door hanger. Oh, I hope you can you see that shimmer. Look at that. And depending on the way the light is, it almost looks like a brighter red to kind of like a cranberry red. It is absolutely beautiful. That and the Shimmer Olive. The Shimmer Crimson, crimson and Shimmer Olive seem to, so far, I, I have a lot of faves, but those two right now are definitely my faves, my favorites. I say faves for favorite. All right, let me see if this is, whoops, piece of thread there. 
Yep. I'm pretty sure this is dry. It looks dry. All right. And my hot glue is still, hot glue gun is still working. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on top. Let me make sure that I have, all right, there are, okay. I grabbed myself a pen because I was thinking after I cover this up, how am I going to get the, so I just grabbed a pen. Kind of puncture through his indicators where the holes are at. Hopefully I can get that ribbon through and if not I'll just hot glue it on there. I might still end up doing that. There we go. Oh yeah my holes are way off. <laughs> oh interesting I should have put it a little bit more that way. Hmm. All right. Hot glue it is. Okay. All right, I like how that, where that is. Oh, I need another glue stick. I'm surprised this thing is still working. Thankful it is. Okay, we're just gonna kinda slather it here and there just to try to get this tacked down. And then I can glue down the, the edges a little bit more. All right. Okay. So hopefully this this will stick. All right. Now I can go through and fine tune. Now if you have if you have any cording, you can go ahead and I should move that over a little bit more. Oh well. If you have any cording, you can go ahead and put cording around the edges and things like that. I do not have any cording at the moment. I'm just trying to tack down these corners here a little bit more. Ooh. I'm going to go through it. Glue strings everywhere. I do, I like how that looks though. But you will definitely go through the glue. picking glue strings everywhere off for a while I do I like that okay let me get another glue stick ready trying to get up underneath here and under the on the edges a little bit even though I like using um, that the board from the uh, packaging that I received from uh, my transfers 
I like that, but I think it might be better suited for a smaller project, to be honest with you. I think um, if you're going to use it like this, I think a smaller, smaller piece would probably minimize the curling on it a little bit. But if you're going to put this like behind a frame, I think that would be perfect also. All right. I do need to clean it up here a little bit. I have got glue, glue bits everywhere. Now for the ribbon, I was going to do the holes, but I didn't realize my holes were that far off. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to glue. I've got this black satin ribbon. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to glue that there. Oh, that is hot. Ooh. Let's see, make sure I've got it going the same direction. All right. Okay. Now this one, I think I probably should pay a little bit more attention where I'm putting it. Now I also cut the buttons off the cuffs and I thought it would be cute if I went ahead and put little buttons on the edge there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. A little hot glue. Just stick those there. I like the way this turned out and I am able to use some of the packaging that I have received products in and gifts. And there we go. I do need a, I've got the like little glue strings here I need to take care of. But yeah, I like how that turned out. I like the colors and yeah, I do. And I think it turned out fairly well, all things considered. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this uh, project and it did give you some ideas that you can go ahead and recycle some of the packaging that you've received some things in. And there you go. And don't forget about that sale that's going on today through the 31st that I told you about earlier. It is 50% off. 30 trans transfer and uh, select transfers and surfaces combined. And if you are a Club Couture subscriber and member, then you will also get 60, you'll get 60% off instead of the 50%. So be sure to check that out today. And like I said, it goes through the 31st as a special that Chalk Couture is doing and I wanted to let you know about it. And this is November's transfer. This is exclusively for a club member. And I do. I hope you enjoy this project of upcycling and how something you can make something from other packaging or things you have around the house. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. And you enjoy your day.